Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. There are three individuals in this country who are giving William Ruto sleepless nights. As a matter of fact, any time the three individuals speak, William Ruto and his brigades are worried. The first one is Karanja Kibicho. Because Karanja Kibicho is a close ally of President Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta. The other one is Fred Matiangi. Because Fred Matiangi is the cabinet secretary for interior. His docket is supposed to provide security and manage the elections on that particular day. The third individual is uh, the cabinet secretary for ICT, Joe Mushero. In fact, out of the three, the guy who is giving them sleepless night the most is Joe Mushero. Because the deputy president has been in this country, he understands so well that in the last two elections, they won, but they won through orthodox means. And one of the means they won through was the use of electronic systems to manage our elections in this country. Joe Mushero will manage the electronic aspect of this election. So the other day, Joe Mushero stated that he's going to make sure that the elections are free and fair. And you saw how William Ruto and his brigades behaved. Today, Joe Mushero is very clear that Raila Molodinga is going to win the presidency of the Republic of Kenya in the August general election and the elections will not go for a rerun. That Raila Odinga is actually going to win in the first round. I don't know how William Ruto and his brigades are going to react to, to that information. Joe Mushero is saying that according to data they have, you know, is uh, is uh, is the coming secretary for ICT, and I tend to think that is actually speaking on behalf of government. That according to the data they have, according to the opinion polls which they have conducted, and other indicators, Raila Odinga is going to win the elections in the first round. Remember when he talks of uh, the the data they have, the opinion polls, and other indicators? I'm seeing the hands of. Uh, intelligence. So according to Joe Mushero, Raila Odinga is winning these elections based on the data they have, opinion polls and indicators. How do you think William Ruto is going to take that? I'll be keenly following their responses to Joe Mushero tomorrow. Joe Mushero is saying that Raila Odinga is going to win because in this video I want us to look at the significance of that meeting. But Jum, I mean, I want to look at the significance of that statement. But Joe Mushero is saying that Raila Odinga is actually going to win in the first round because, number one, Martha Karua factor. That because Raila Odinga chose Martha Karua, every other thing is now favoring Raila Odinga as far as the elections are concerned. Joe Mushero is also saying, number two, that the stars are actually aligned in favor of Raila Odinga. When you talk of stars being aligned in favor of Raila Odinga, what does that mean? What does it mean if you can use your head... <laughs> and it's also saying that the elections is going to be free and fair which means perceptionally they are going to create an environment and conduct elections to an extent that you will just accept the results it will be free, fair and it's also saying that 100% internet coverage in all the 53,000 polling stations is now ready remember Wafula Chebukati had initially indicated <laughs> that the result transmission might actually fail because the government has failed to provide internet connectivity to the 53,000. But Joe Mushiro is saying that as far as he's concerned, as the minister for ICT, everything is ready. But what was the what is this political significance of Joe Mushiro's statement? In my view, I think Joe Mushiro, number one, is sending deep state message. What Joe Mushiro is trying to say here is telling uh, William Ruto and his brigades that Raila Odinga is going to be declared the president and in the first round. That's actually a coded message. And that coded message, in my view, is coming from what I can call deep state. 
Jomushero, Fred Matiangi, Karanja Kibisho, Francis Atuli, you can talk of uh, David Murabe, you can talk of uh, Nancy Gitau. Those are part and parcel of President Ruru Kenyatta's deep state. So, it's basically telling the DP that according to us, the deep state, the elections is won. The only advantage the DP has is that he was actually part and parcel of uh, the deep state in the last election. So he understands how these guys are operating and probably he's trying to now figure out the other way around, how he can move around uh, the obstacles which are being laid on his path to the presidency. That's number one. Number two, Joe Musheru's statement is also actually meant to demoralize William Ruto supporters. You know, if a guy who is supposed to manage the elections is telling you that the elections is already won, Ray Odinga is the next president. You know, he's already telling you that. And it's not going to even go to the second round. It's going to be first round. Basically, William Ruto supporters are being demoralized. While on the other side, Rael Odinga supporters and their morale are being boosted. Remember, in 2013, I think the difference, what made Rael Odinga, what made Kenyans not go to runoff, I think was a difference of 8,000 votes. Yo Mushero is now clear that it's going to go Rael Odinga's way and in the first round. So Rael Odinga supporters will now use that opportunity to turn up in large numbers because they understand now the importance of turning up in, in large numbers. Because remember previously what used to happen was that Rilodinga supporters would wake up, they vote, they cast their votes. When the results are announced, that's, those results never counted. So they were like, without President Ruki Nyata endorsing Rilodinga, without the support of the deep state, actually the truth is, Rilodinga supporters had given up. They had lost hope in the elections. So what Joe Mushero is now saying is what is going to make them turn up in large numbers to go and cast their votes. Number three, I think, just like I said in one of my previous videos, is that Joe Mushero is actually playing with William Ruto's emotion. He's trying all methods to actually provoke the DP and his team. And you know the way they react. The next day, you will see William Ruto and his brigades all over attacking Joe Mushero. And in my view, that's what Joe Mushero is looking at or looking for. He wants to provoke the team, let the team talk, 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 like he's saying that Rayo is going to win in the first round. He's saying, okay, Rayo is going to win in the first round. That's okay. Then William Ruto team are going to come up and he's saying, the elections, I'm going to make sure it's free and fair. So if Joe Mushero is asserting these people that elections is going to be free and fair, how do you then go and attack him? So I tend to think that the guy is actually just out to provoke the DP and let the DP and his team speak. He's saying that he's already provided ice, uh, I mean, internet, 100% internet coverage to 53,000 polling stations. IBC is saying that internet connectivity is not yet provided and therefore they're not even sure whether those results will be transmitted. So the next day, Kipchumba Murkomen and the group will wake up and start attacking Joe Mujeru over IBC. And questions will be asked whether IBC is working for William Ruto or not. Because remember, the only body which these guys are not attacking is IBC. Why? Because of Wafula Chebu Kadi. Number four, this statement is also meant to prepare the minds, the souls, of William Ruto supporters psychologically and mentally. That this thing is going. That Red Odinga is going to be the next president. So what you do with that information will be up to you. But I think by Joe Mushero as a cabinet secretary telling Kenyans that Red Odinga is going to win in the first round is important. It's serious matter. And therefore, it's, it's starting to prepare the minds of these people that there's a possibility of Rayo Digger winning. So that even if the results will start streaming in, psychologically there is, okay, if anything, Rayo Digger was meant to win. If anything, the deep state was with him. If anything, you know, mental preparation. And lastly, I think Yom Mujeru, through this statement, is also putting IBC to task. They are trying to put them to test. IBC are saying 
the results transmission will fail because according to IBC the ministry of ICT has not provided the platform Joe Mushero is coming and saying publicly that out of the 53000 polling stations we've provided covering 100% so who is saying the truth because the mandate of IBC is to conduct elections The mandate of uh, the Ministry of ICT is to provide the infrastructure. So they're saying they've provided the infrastructure. So it will be now upon uh, IBC to come out again and say, okay, we talked of uh, the results not being able, of not being able to, to transmit results because of connectivity. But the Ministry of ICT has now assured us that they have 100% connectivity. So it will be upon them. So in my view, the statement was meant to achieve those objectives. I don't know what you think. And today again, Raila Molodinga, Amazon Kingi, and um, Hassan Joho led the people of Ravai constituency in sending off their beloved member of parliament, William Kamoti. William Kamoti was a soft-spoken guy. Uh, personally, I interacted with him very briefly in uh, Kilifi during the by-election, I think it was in 2014, when I was there for uh, like a month campaigning for William Tengo that time. And I loved Kilifi. Personally, if there's any county I love so much, it's Kilifi. Their people are lovely. You know, even uh, the other day I went to Kilifi, when was that? There was a time I went to Kilifi last year and I met Wonderful people. Nyundo, Mulei, Yule Mse, several guys from Kilifi, very lovely people. And I think I need to go back to Kilifi again. <laughs> anyway, have a good day. Bye-bye.